I'm from the same higher self that has projected those incarnations. So, and, it, and it's why I'm so odd. It's why my consciousness is very different. It's why I was unable, I was able to paralyze, unparalyze myself in a short period of time and explain the metaphysics and the enlightened mechanics behind how that works. Um, and to offer up these teachings, it's because I'm part of the same higher self. Think of an octopus and it projects tentacles. So the higher self that has projected Plato, Francis Bacon, Merlin, St. Germain, Moses, Gilgamesh, Amelia Earhart, Christopher Columbus, I won't name them all. So I'm, I'm part of that. So I am them and they are me. So I'm part of that same higher self. And that mantra of Francis Bacon and Plato was the other mantra. He used to say it as a kid. I used to say those names over and over and over again. And I was literally just trying to wake myself up. So that's the connection is that that's, uh, that's part of, of what I am. So I like to say that they're me and I'm them and I'm from the same, the same higher self. It's interesting because it's not quite the same as reincarnation though, because I think for those tuning in would feel like, oh, so you've been these people in your past life, but sharing a higher self is different. There's like a lower self, higher self, and they share a bond. And then in the next life, that higher self will be with a new lower self. But that higher self is like, so yeah, it, 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 I kind of lose myself in there a little bit. So it's not quite incarnation, reincarnation. It's you share a higher self. So can you describe that a little bit? Is it a shared soul? Yeah, ab- absolutely. I'm, and I'm, I'm really glad you asked that question because I do feel there's a lot of uh, confusion about that. And, ho- and hopefully um, these explanations that I offer up as RJ in this will clarify a lot of, a lot of these things. So the, the idea, okay, I'll use two analogies. I'll use two analogies. Okay. So let's think of, because uh, they're easier and they're fun. That's why. Okay. So let's think of a wave, like on the ocean, right? So a wave is coming in. So for all intents and purposes, that wave is obviously part of the ocean, but it has temporary individuality, right? So there's this wave that's coming in. It is part of the ocean, but in a, in a moment or two, it is individualized while still part of the ocean. So the wave is coming in. Right. So we can think of that as a single incarnation from from a higher self. Right. OK. Then the wave crashes. Right. And it gets enveloped and pulled back in. And once again, there's no individuality. It's no longer separated. It gets pulled right back out into that ocean. So that individuality existed temporarily as a wave. It crashes. You could think of that as death if you want to think of it, even though there's no such thing. And then it gets pulled back out into the ocean. Now, if we're there, if we're there at the shoreline long enough, Emirat, there's going to be another wave coming in, right? Okay. Now, is that wave exactly, precisely like the wave that just crashed before, or is it a little bit different? It's obviously a little bit different. Is it from the same ocean? Absolutely. Okay. So that is how, and it's an analogy. That is how I feel is more accurate to, to understand. So it's from the same source, the same ocean, but each wave is different, but it's coming from the same source. Here, and here's the second analogy. So if we think of a, a, screwdri- a screwdriver with an uh, interchangeable head, hmm. right? You can take the head off, right? There's so, magnetic ones, so, yeah. I've got, I've got some yeah, yeah. There. So the body of the screwdriver, about 90%, give or take, about 90% of the screwdriver just stays the same. Right. And then you can, you know, take the head off, put this one on, take that head off. This one. Okay. It's kind of like that. So the, the incarnations coming from the same higher self, it's, it's roughly 90% of the exact same thing, but there can be up to, and it can be even up to 20% variance, by the way, but generally it's about a 10% variance in terms of the quality of sentience, the depth of sentience, the amount of sentience and the egoic personality that is drawn upon from, from these other incarnations, if they're, if they're deemed useful by the higher self, if it's deemed useful, they, the higher self will imbue that aspect of itself, that wave that's about to, to come out. It will imbue it with egoic traits from other incarnations if it'll help achieve the, uh, the goals and agenda of that specific incarnation. But the majority of the, of the, uh, of the screwdriver is, is the same. But it can differ in the quality of the sentience. I can, I can explain that. It can differ the quality of the sentence, sentience, and it can differ slightly in terms of the amount. So in general, the wave that's being projected by that ocean 
is about two and a half percent of the totality of the ocean. So our single individualized unit of consciousness, or what we call an aspect of the soul, is roughly two and a half percent of our higher self. Now, dependent upon what is required during that incarnation, it can be more. And I'll, I'll give a specific example. Uh, the being that we know is, as Christ, as Jesus Christ, who's, who's actually really Master Sananda, that incarnation, Christ was projected with 3.75% of its higher self, which is an enormous, an enormous upgrade on the normal 2.5%. Plato is another example of was working with three and a quarter percent of his higher self rather than two and a half percent. So there, there can be with the screwdriver head, there can be these adjustments. But for the most part, the sentience is quite similar, but there can be a change in the quality and that quality can be certain specific attributes or traits. Francis Bacon, for example, uh, who was the true author of the Shakespearean plays. Uh, was had a certain quality of his sentience, and that was different than the quality of the sentience that was Plato, even though it's from the same higher self. St. Germain is from that same higher self, right? Uh, Christopher Columbus is from that same higher self. Moses is from that same higher self. R.J. Spina is from that same higher self. So there's a similarity, but it's not exactly the same, and it's not exactly the same soul. So if anyone actually says, from my direct experience, that I am the reincarnation of so-and-so, that is not accurate because that's not how it works. Now, they could be from the same higher self. Absolutely. Is it the exact same soul? Are those waves exactly the same? They're absolutely not. They're absolutely not, but they could be quite similar and come from the same source.